Hi guys. I know it's late, but um, I've been tidying the house, so um, I've been itching to do this all day. So I thought I'd come on and make a start. So I've had this idea in my head to use some of the Memories and More kits, but to kind of make it my own really, to really play with texture and um, kind of go to town with it. Hi Bobby, nice to see you. So, I have already got a piece of pink 12x12 card, um, card stock here. I've got a piece of DSP from that gorgeous Daisy bundle. Uh, I like it because it's old olive and I want to kind of keep with a pink and green and kind of purpley kind of look. And I just grabbed, this is Fresh Fig and Lemon Lime Twist from the In Colour Stacks. Carmela, lovely to see you. Hi. Okay, and then here we've got this gorgeous um, Memories and More kit. And I'm just going to pull out some of the... Um, oh, I like the idea of maybe cutting cutting that up. That might be fun. And I'm just going through some of these textures now. I'm pulling out some stuff that I think I might quite like. See, I even like some of that grid there. Now, this Memories and More kit has also got these lovely stickers that you kind of peel off and you can use. So I might just set those aside for a little bit later got these lovely little words and things so for mixed media kind of people who you know th th this is kind of cool because look we've got all these gorgeous things and I'm wondering whether or not I can actually use some of these as a um, stencil okay we're going to play with this so stick with me guys I don't know what time it is with you wherever you are but um we're going to have some, do some playing. Look, I like this stripe as well. So we might not use all these. This is just, so there's tons and tons and tons of stuff in this kit. Look, all this stuff. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I just had a quick look to see what photo it is I'm going to scrap. And I just found this adorable picture of my daughter. Look at her hair, so scruffy. This was when she was probably quite like three or four. And uh, this was at a local park. And, um... Anyway, I just she just got up in there and I just snapped a picture and I loved it. So I might just cut that down a little bit to fit it on. But this is where we're headed. So I think to start off with, I'd like to stamp some images just to rough up the paper and get it going. So... Um, I'm just looking at my stamp sets now to see what I've got. Hi Kimberly. So I'm just pulling out some of these and I keep seeing people online like not using an acrylic block. I'm like, what is with that? Not using blocks. So I'm just going to have a go and see what happens. They, they use the stamps kind of like direct to paper and just get it on there and you know, do their thing. So I'm going to have a go. <laughs> Look, no block stamping. I'm just plopping it down. And I'm not worried that um, if it, I don't know, smudges or smears or whatever. It's, it's all about the, I don't know, just getting it on there. Okay. Is that brave of me, guys, do you think? Do you think this is brave? <laughs> Just getting it on. I mean, I don't know how much of this is gonna you're going to actually see in the end because I'm planning to do a lot of distressing on this. Yeah. Absolutely, they're not looking for perfection. It's just a little kind of hint of an impression, isn't it? They just want. I'm making a good old mess here, guys. But I'm not worried. This is all about the process and enjoying 
seeing what happens okay so the other day I actually had a play with our texture paste to see if we could make a type of gesso so gesso is an acrylic based um paint that normally you put um sorry it's a primer what am I talking about wrong words and um it's used as a primer to prepare any canvas that you're working on so that it will take the paper, the ink more. So I mix some texture paste with some water. I think I might just need a little bit more texture paste actually. Hi Ellen! So I'm just mixing texture paste with water to create a little bit of a primer. I've got a big old tub of water right next to me to wash everything. Oh, I better put my ink away because I don't want stuff getting into that. Good morning. Good morning, Australia. Okay. And then I'm just going to brush this on. And it's in it is interacting with the green I've already laid down because obviously the green is water-based. I don't know what I'm doing guys, so, you know, feel free to ask me questions, but I really don't know what I'm doing, I'm just playing. So feel free to hop in and out, I won't be offended if you just want to go and <laughs> watch some other paint dry somewhere else. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put my brush in there to dry, uh, wash it. And what do I need now? I need to plug in my heat tool to get some of this dry. Actually, before it dries, I'm going to put some. Um, I think I'm going to put some brushes on here. Okay. Now, some people don't like this green brusher because it's got some purple flecks in it, but I really like it. And I think sometimes by putting the, um, some kind of, hi, um, Michelle, happy birthday. Um, by putting some sort of primer down, it actually helps it to kind of remain in that gorgeous splatty kind of thing. You see how that, now that I don't think would normally happen. So anyway, it's just all a bit of an experiment. Um, just fancy doing a little bit more brushes. Right, then I'm going to get my heat tool. And you can really watch paint dry. This is an actual thing. Watch paint dry with Ruth. So if you've just joined me, um, what I've done already is... I have randomly stamped with, uh, what colour was that? Old Olive. And then I brushed over some water mixed with texture paste. And then I've also just put some brushes into that, okay? Okay, this might take a while. <laughs> oh dear, didn't bank on that, did I? I don't think I'm going to let it completely dry. Oh, I could get tissue. I know what, I'll get tissue to mop it up a bit. Yes. Oh yeah, there we go. Should have done that. Okay, I know you guys can't see this, but there's some sort of bits of painty texture. Uh, yeah, a little bit of paint texture coming through. Hi Julie. Right, I might not have time to completely let this dry because I want to get on and put some texture paste on this now. Oh, 
Okay, so I want to use this stencil here from the Memories of More kit. And what I want to do is put some texture, pa uh, some brushes on the texture paste as well. So I'm just going to open this up a little bit more. Okay, so oh, I forgot to put the brushes on. Hold on. Okay, I'm putting some brush out in with the texture paste in the hope that it will start reacting with the texture paste because the texture paste is a little bit moist yeah it's starting to mix but I'm not, not too worried if it doesn't completely mix it's quite nice to have light and darker bits I don't know if I'm going to be completely destroying this stencil by doing this but I'm doing it in the name of art guys doing it for you oh no what am I doing okay can you see what I'm doing there hi Vicky happy Sunday okay so I'm just seeing how that looks oh look at that guys can you see that woohoo Now I have got the palette knives for the texture paste, but don't ask me where they are. I don't know. I think I put them somewhere safe. That's my excuse. So safe, I can't find them. You know what I really want to do is put some gold embossing powder into this now because I really like the gold against this pink. It is so nice. There we go. Okay, I'm going to just put this very quickly. I'm just going to move that aside. I'm just going to see how this washes up because this is, it is paper on the other side, but I'm hoping that I can get it a little bit clean so I might be able to use some of it later. Just quickly dry it so it doesn't distort it too much because look, there's paper on the other side. Actually, no, 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 I won't put gold embossing powder. What I'll do is I'll, I'll tear up pieces of this and use it. There we go. That's what I'll do. Hi, Rosalie. Okay, so it's got a little bit of the, the texture paste on there. It's kind of dulled it a little bit, which is fine because it's quite shiny, actually, this stuff. Okay, so I'll put that to one side. Bring this back in. Shut my texture paste up because we do not want that getting to although I might put some texture paste on the edges I love putting it on the edges with some gold embossing but oh I don't know I don't know I don't know right I want to do some spritzing okay so I've got a little bit of water here in my uh, bottle um, now I wonder about getting some purple in here now Fresh fig re inker. Okay, so I've only got a tiny bit, and I want this ink to be quite saturated, so I'm going to put quite a few drops in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's see how that works. I think I'll have to have a tester just to see. Okay, so I'm just going to move this aside for a moment, and then, of course, because there's still 
clean water in the nozzle. I'm going to have to squirt this a couple of times. Oh no, I'll do it straight into here until it starts coming through. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's good. Woohoo. Okay, this is exciting. Oh, let me get rid of that. Um, you know, I've got some scrap paper here that I'm just going to... This was a letter I got from the kids' school, so I'm just going to put that down. <laughs> Why waste good grid paper? There we go. Right. Now, let's find another stencil. Look, there's this one here. This time I'm going to use the other side, so I'm going to leave the gold and um, what about that? And I'm going to get some more scrap paper. And because I, I don't want this line showing, I want it, yeah, I just don't want that line showing, so I'm going to mask that off and then. Missed. Yeah, it shows a little bit. Hi, Sharon. Okay, I'm just going to pop that there. Try and get it as flat as possible because um, then it will show up a bit better. completely missed okay you can sort of see a bit of the texture coming through there and this one you know what I'm just going to go for it I'm not even going to mask this off now I'm just going to spray this and see what happens so guys do share this out with you if you've got mixed media friends do share this out because I am by no way finished at this yet Okay, that's just a little bit of extra texture there. I think I just might do an extra bit of a squirt there. Okay, there we go, that's what it looks like so far. So I'm just going to dry off quickly my stencil here. So the, it was kind of a creamy white colour on the other side. So now, thanks Laurie. So now I've got a gorgeous purpley piece that I could use for something. So always think about how you can use things twice because, you know, it's worth doing. Oh gosh, look at this. Got this gorgeous gold thing. I might use that later. All right, so let's get this dried. You guys are awesome. I love how it's kind of interacted with the, um, what's it, texture paste as well. Look at that. Okay, nearly there. And it's interesting, as I keep turning it around, I'm not sure which direction I actually want to have it in. But anyway, it's fun. I think it was that way around. The texture paste is still a little bit damp because we've re-moistened it by spritzing on it. So it is still damp to the touch. So just be aware not to like push down too hard on that. Okay. 
The next thing I want to have a look at doing is uh, distressing the papers that I want to use. Um, I want to create a little bit of a background to like a frame for the photograph. So don't get upset guys, but I'm going to have to cut this down a little bit. Oh, thanks, Linda. Oh, man, I don't really want to cut off too much of this. I quite like seeing that. Um, let's do that four inches. Okay. Okay, don't call the scrapbooking police, but I cut up a photograph. Um, okay, so I think I want a light kind of... Oh, this is a light pink one. Where's that one? Oh, I think I'll keep that. That's quite fun. <coughs> oh, bless me. Okay, let's keep that. And then I want to keep this part of this rose as well. Or do I? No, forget it. Let's just cut into this. So I'm just tearing up some pieces here. I know what, let me move this out of the way. some of these because otherwise it's going to look a bit oh actually I've got some ink in there get my brush I don't want it all purple do I I want the um, I want the photo to pop against a lighter background so I'm just going to brush the edges of paper use four white strips to frame that you like and move them to ah oh, great good tip very good tip okay so I'm just using that that spritz that I used earlier just to go over the edges of this now and I'm not being particularly careful as you can see and then um I want to keep that as well, so chop that off. I'm just going to spray a little bit more of this in here. Very good tip, Jennifer. You're a demo, Jennifer. I only recognise your name from somewhere. Okay, so I'm I'm thinking out loud here, but in terms of like creating um defined areas especially on such a busy canvas i guess the trick is not to use the same textures everywhere um so like i'm not going to do any stenciling or anything like that on here um oh you joined about two weeks ago awesome oh congratulations welcome to the family 
Um, so I'm not putting loads of stenciling and stamping on this because I want this to be a bit more defined. You know, I want the eye to be drawn to the photograph. So even though it is super, super busy everywhere else, um, and it's fun, um, it's nice also to remember what the focal point is. And obviously in scrapbooking, that should be the photograph. Um, so I'm just curling, while these are still a little bit damp, I'm just curling these up a little bit so that they'll dry, hopefully nice and textured and adding water to paper does some marvellous things so don't be afraid of, of having a go doing that okay let's start sticking down get my glue working come on glue I need to try not to get glue on this photograph. Oopsie doops. Let's pull that back a bit. Okay, I'm just going to get a clean tissue so that I can push down because I'm just aware I've got really sticky fingers and I don't want to transfer that to my photograph. Obviously, I think if I was just scrapbooking privately without all you guys watching, I'd go off and wash my hands. But I'm just going to keep going. And actually, it's quite f useful having these grid lines on um, this paper because it's kind of helping it to match up. Hi, Tommy. Oh, hi. Hi, granddaughters. Do you guys do scrapbooking? So this is a picture of my daughter. She's eight now when she was much, much younger. Well, I say much, much younger. I think when you're little. Even one year ago, it seems a long time, doesn't it? Okay, just scrunching this, these sides up a little bit more. You can mitre the corners by gluing the framing strips to a scrap bit and cut the tear from the corners to remove the overlapping bit. Might have gone as by what did you say? Gluing the framing strips to a scrap bit and cut or tear inwards from the corner. Okay, got you. I think I got you. So you were tear yeah. Oh well. I'm a learning, Jennifer. You sound like you've done this before, honey. Oops. Okay. You know what, I think I'm just going to make it part of it. Um, you know, make it a feature. And I'm not bothered that I'm getting paint on the picture. Okay. I know what, I'll try and do it a little bit like this. Look. Oh no, that doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, you know what? What am I doing? I need the other other colours in here now. I don't think this paper likes being torn that direction. Never mind.
yeah <laughs> I've been doing a lot of that recently that's why I've been so inspired to get into doing mixed media because it just it's my kind of crafting really um well I say my kind of crafting it's, it's one of the things I like doing sometimes I'm all clean and simple and then sometimes I'm messy 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 so it suits me I, yeah, and that's the other thing. You get to the point where you've watched so many and you're like, I just need to have a go. Why am I just sitting here watching videos when I can just be in my craft room having a go? And it's so much fun. Okay, I think I need a little bit more green. So I'm just going to have a look through these um, cards to see if I can find another green one that I like the look of. Ooh, that's quite fun. Imperfect impulses. Yeah, I think I came across him. He was making some box. Yeah. thing is I keep coming across people who use a lot of other products like lots of flowers and from other companies and I just want to really experiment with the Stampin' Up! products to see like how I can create a similar look that I'm really happy with because um, we have so many dyes and things that we can create our own kind of like fake chick you know faux chipboard because um, you know a lot of people do use the chipboard and things but um, okay Yeah, I might do some die cutting in a minute. Actually, we do have some cute... These are quite fun. We can use these, couldn't we? Okay, you know what? I might not do die cutting. Cause I might see if I can find some doilies. I think I might spritz this doily, see how it takes. Ooh, what about spritzing doily on the canvas? Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm running out. Gonna have to exactly totally it is it's about coming oh no that didn't work did it <coughs> okay I'm just gonna dab up some of this oh no that what am I doing oh well I'm just gonna paint that instead I'm gonna put a drop of water into this because It'll be a diluted version now. Oh, it's getting quite, um, what's the word? Fragile. The spritzer doesn't like that I haven't got much in it.
Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some Versamark. And I'm just going to pat some of these edges in the Versamark. I'm not trying to get it everywhere, just fairly random. Get the gold. Okay guys, what do you think of that? Yay, it's a mixed media party. Yes, definitely. Okay, I really, really love that. Really, really do. And, um, okay, so the issue now is going to be, I want to use some of the stickers. Oh, there's this gorgeous rose as well we can use. I want to use some of the stickers, but... I want to grungy them up a little bit. I don't want to use them. Oh, here they are. I don't really want to use them direct. Does that make sense? So, I wonder if it's worth putting a little bit of... Okay, I'm just painting on some of that purple and that seems to help a little bit. I don't think I'm going to use a pink. So I'm just going to ignore the pink ones for now. I love this green, green stuff. Isn't that gorgeous? But that needs grunging up as well. See, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to waste any of the ink. Okay, that's cool. Right. these little elements to come in now. I don't like this really dark patch here. I'm just going to try and soften that square. I don't like that. And by drying it kind of instantly, you end up with this kind of splotchy effect, which is quite fun. Thanks, Rosalie. Oh, and I forgot we've got these little elements as well that I could use. Okay, so... Bring that back in. I think I'm going to place it there. Although I'm hide that's hiding up a lot of that. No, no, no. I'll put it there because it's nice to have this part there. I'm not. There's nothing much going on in the middle. So I, if I put, oh, I could put it in the middle. Just put it in the middle, Ruth, for goodness' sake. Now I want to make the most of all this gorgeous doily. So, um. I think I'm going to just use it in pieces. Okay. 
There we go. And we've got some of these rose things. Can have that growing out the side of that, couldn't we? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just cut it as the stickers. Oh, thanks for the hearts, guys. I'm just going to cut it as it is because it's really hard for me to kind of imagine it while it's still in all in one piece. So I'm just going to cut that there. So I'm going to have that growing out of that bit there. Then I could have that rose down there. Now there is this, but I'm not sure if that's just not quite in keeping now. I could use some of this instead. Um, maybe some up there at the top. Now I'm not sure if this... I, I see this, I'm finding a bit too jarring. But I don't know how I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, no you can't Ruth. Okay, forget that. So I'm going to just cut... Mm. Actually, you know what? I think I might just cut it straight down the middle. And down the side. <laughs> I just find this line... A I don't know, I just find it too stark, that, that line there. That's better. Okay, I'm happy with that now. Just take that edge off there as well. Up there like that. Up there. Up there. Then. I want to lengthen some of this design at the bottom, make it come out a bit further. Oh, you know what, I'm just going to chop this off as well. Yeah, too geometric, you're right. Ooh. Yeah, I just want to bring the design down a little bit here. kind of like soften the edges a little bit then we've got this lovely kind of greenery thing here as well so I might use some of that as in a second um, what else is in this kit um, I do have those words where are the words gone it's like that. here's the story no I don't want to hear the story it doesn't make sense Moment. There's some nice little sort of journaling. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, love you, beautiful. That's so cool. Oh, there's another flower. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna cut that out. Careful, I do this. Okay. And then I could use some of these frames as well. Where's the paintbrush? Just dodgy that up a little bit. Don't, oh, no, this colour's not quite right. You know what? I think I'm going to use that. It's the little things. Because that colour is um, more Calypso Coral, and I'm not using any Calypso Coral on this at all. So I don't want to start confusing things. So let's use this and tear that up.
Oh, sorry guys. Not bother. Okay, I'm just going to set that to dry. I better start sticking stuff down, haven't I? This is a scary bit, you know? <laughs> when you've looked at it for long enough and you're like, no, I've got to stick it down. Oops. Am I going to frame this? Um, I don't know, Bobby. <laughs> Not really thought that far yet. I all I know is I want to do more of this. That you know. Oh God, guys, sorry. If I why is the it's really dark here? Because I think there's a shadow. Oh no, maybe it's because my is it is it really dark? Because I think it might be my screen settings. Oh, that's a bit better. Are you guys sing this okay? I absolutely love doing this. I love how even though I'm, I use sort of very similar techniques each time I'm... The last couple of times I've done scrapbook pages, I've used similar techniques. Um, it just looks different every time okay, I'm just gonna put that there. Okay. okay I'm just gonna go for it now and pull this off oh, it's so nice that you don't have to cut this out yourself Tuck that right in there like oh actually tuck that right in there like that. Oh I haven't stuck that down yet, have I? Ha 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 Okay. Okay, I want that super secure, don't I? I think, I think part of the reason I haven't done this sort of thing for ages is because it does take time. You know, it, it really, you know, I haven't got time to spending two hours over every layout. But then I haven't been doing any layers, layouts at all. So I may as well just have fun. And by doing it, I'm also finding techniques that I can use in card making. So it is really quite fun. Hi, Joy. Nice to see you. So... So I've got this rose here, which I might just pop that corner there and then have that one going down like oh, no, that way. And then I've got this, this to attach somewhere. I might pop that there. And there are some really cool little frame things, which might be quite fun to... Oh, actually, look at this. It's double. Oh, thanks, Bobby. Look. Ooh, okay. Right, I'm going to cut this out. Because I just want to grungy that up a little bit more. And then I think I might even get some more gold embossing powder on these. I'm 
save these other ones for another day. And actually, I've just realised, if you're really careful and cut round this one here, because it doesn't, it has, it isn't, the machine hasn't cut out that bit. Can you see that the ink has gone over? So you could actually make yourself a third piece by cutting around that uh, colour. Does that make sense? You see what I'm doing? So I'm focused now. Yeah, look, so I've made myself another frame. So that's one, two, three pieces there, okay? So, um, oh, I know. I think what I might do is I just need to clean this stamp off. I might just put the gold embossing powder on with this stamp because I don't want the I don't want the embossing to be too regular. Thanks guys. That just came to me. Versa Mark, where have you gone? Oh, right by me. Okay, I've got no idea how this is going to turn out, but we'll see. We will see together. Now, I wonder what effect the heat tool is having on the sticky underneath. Again, we will see. We will find out together. Uh, well guys, thanks for sticking with me. I can see there's about 17 of you watching. <laughs> If you're watching this on a replay uh, and you've got this far, well done. My plan is to uh, download this video and do a sped up version of it with a voiceover. So, um, so it's a bit easier to watch. Oh, it's in my eye. Right. Okay, this is quite hot. I think the glue has heated up as well as the... Um, embossing powder okay so I'm just going to set that aside for a second exactly exactly it's not not all is lost is it okay this is very curly this <laughs> oops um, I wanted to frame frame this a little bit Actually, put that back. I want to frame this sentiment with something a little bit darker before I glue down. Let me see if there's anything darker in here I could use. Oh, look, that's cute. Isn't that lovely? I think I'll use that. I'm just 
going to tear, tear along there. Try not to tear the leaves. That's so pretty. I've ordered the Versamark reinker because I figured if it comes in a reinker, like if I wanted to, I could paint it on. Like so, you can be more specific about where you put your embossing powder. So watch your space, guys, because when that reinker arrives, I'm going to be playing with that. You guys deserve medals for sticking with me. <laughs> I've got a bit of ink on there, but... Oh, I've got a bit of glue in there now as well. Oh, I have got my silicone rubber around here somewhere. Anyway, I'll sort that out later. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, I want this to be sticking out a little bit from the layout. So I'm just... Oh no, that's not very good. I've got some cardboard. Oh no, this is not going to be archival, is it? Oh, you know what? Stuff it. Who cares? underneath the photograph isn't a original it's fine I'm not gonna please don't tell the scrapbooking police there we go Maybe I should have had that sticking up a little bit as well. Oh, you know what I need to do is get the tweezers. That is what I've not done. You'll see my secret is safe with you guys. Really? I'm not sure if I trust any of you lot. Because <laughs> you're going to be sharing this everywhere. Look what Ruth did. You know what, I'm just going to stick a bit underneath these flowers because I don't want those being too flat yeah secret is safe yeah just need to snip some Ruth used cardboard on her layout miss <laughs> miss guess what Ruth did um, I'm telling. Only got guys from the UK will under understand that. Oh, right, uh, I did have my little. Okay, Ruth, just calm down. It doesn't matter. You don't need it right now. Okay. 
Only because you will make the mistake. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see. I want to put some of these on now. Come on. Yeah, it's just about sticking down even though... Okay, where could I stick that? That could go somewhere, can't it? Go. See? Don't waste a thing. Just make sure it's... For Christmas projects. Ooh. Ooh, Christmas. Okay. I'd love to know what. You know what? This is the first time I've used a Memories and More kit. Oh! I love them when I saw them in the new catalogue. And yeah, isn't that naughty? I'm going to be using them more now. Because even if you're not a scrapbooker, the way the way you've got to think about these memory, Memories and More kits is that um, they're just full of lots of little fun things, you know? So even if you're a card maker, there's just so many different images and textures and, you know, think outside the box. Okay, so I have got this little one out. Now this is the, what I said to you earlier about just snipping it so that you can use that as a frame as well. Oh, you need this kit now. Well, I have a confession. I am actually not taken with the stamp set that goes with this set, this uh, suite. This this rose is not a rose to me. Oh, thank you, Ellen. Um, Actually, I think, Ellen, you thought I really loved this rose, didn't you? I remember you saying to me, oh, Ruth, you're going to love a, a set. And Was it this set? I can't remember if it was this rose that you thought I'd like. And I do like the fact it's a rose, but it's just not a me rose. Um, because I haven't put one down here either, have I? Hold on. I think I might just keep that one whole. Um... It's a rose. I know, but it's a really ugly rose. Oh, did I just say that? Did I say it was an ugly rose? I'm sorry. No, I don't want that there. I want it there. I got right there. Um, yeah, it. Yeah, I. I just. Yeah. Don't like it. But I love the colours in this suite. I really do. Do like them. So, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to separate this. I'm 
get another piece of card cardboard. Stick that onto there. Okay. Actually, it's much easier to play with when it's on something else. Running, who's running? Okay, I'm just going to snip that a little bit more. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bobby. Well, I'm finding it a therapeutic process as well. Okay, I'm going to have to snip these down. Actually, just it makes such a difference just by cutting these apart and then sticking them down separately because it it makes it doesn't make it look as if it's all part of the well it isn't it's not one one piece anymore so Ruth wants to make you get messy get messy with Ruth Yay. It's not wanting to come apart. Okay, come on. No, you guys are just going to like watch me get messy and then go, oh, well, we saw Ruth do it. We know it can be done. She got the inky fingers for us. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. And then there's these lovely pieces. But I think I might just have like... I'm just going to have to stick those down, I think, because it's going to be too much to... And yes, I use dimensionals. Ooh, let's see if the dimensionals will fit. Oh man, getting backache. Okay. Oh yes, look, 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 perfect. Perfect size for the mini dimensionals. So let's pop those on. Oh, I love our mini dimensionals. Hi Vicky. Okay, I, <laughs> I was putting them at every little space, but I don't, I'm not sure I need them at every little one because I'm not quite sure I'm going to cut it. So let's just figure out where that's going to go first. Actually, that would be quite cute in the corner, wouldn't it? Cut that there and there. these off. Get another one for there. Another one for there. Oops.
Or should I put it under there? There, I think. See, the great thing about doing this, it almost... It, because your eye kind of fills in the gap, it almost it feels like it's going all the way round, but it isn't, if that makes sense. I want to lift this up now. Actually, if I stick that underneath there, it will lift it up, won't it? that under there. I'm just going to pull that out a little bit. Get that into there. And then pull that back. Come on. Yep. It's a little bit lumpy bumpy but that works. Mm, oh, right. Stop sticking down with. <laughs> okay. So where are we going to go? That one there. Okay, I'm going to hold that down for a sec. Oh, I squashed it a bit too hard then. <laughs> there we go. I guess I could have used dimensionals on the back of this. I think I I hesitated to because I thought I might be heating this back up again. So I, I didn't know how... I don't know. Has anyone tried um, heating dimensionals and knows what happens? Make sure that's a dead on properly. Okay. I think I would like to do some white, putting some white on here now. So I'm going to use my re inker and see if you think they melt yeah I think so too I'm just going to put some re in there and my brush and I just want to very kind of softly go over to certain areas Ooh, certain areas It's kind of wanting to mix with the purple quite quickly though. I don't see anything about this. This is so this is the um craft white reinker that I'm using here. Oop. And this I think is just like a makeup y brush. Yeah, it is. And I guess if you don't like the brush strokes, look, I'm just rubbing it in. It's just a cheapie. I don't I don't even know why it was in my craft room. Which I might just try and soften this area here a little bit. Actually, it's quite fun doing it over the texture paste as well. Just soften that corner up a little bit. I'm 
I don't know if I like that now. Where's my spritzer? Oh, where's my spritzer gone? <laughs> One with all the purple in it. Okay, let me just get rid of some stuff off my desk. Actually, I wonder about. Ah, I'll get some old olive reinker. I could do with doing some splatters in that. Oh, really? What, and not my face? <laughs> okay, I've got a tiny bit of water in here. I'm going to put five drops. And then I'm also going to protect protect my okay. just using it like a a spritzer. Oh my gosh, it's going everywhere. Just doing some splat splatters because I've got lots of purple splatters, but not a lot of the green. So I guess it's good to ooh, 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 yeah, okay. Just be a bit more forceful with, okay. Oh, that's fun. Actually, it helps to grungy up these roses a little bit. Oop, no, don't move that too far over. Because that's the only thing about using these kind of preformed stickers, that they do look a little bit too fresh out the packet, if you know what I mean. Maybe I should have protected that a little bit more as well, but never mind. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to put the heat tool on there because I've already used some dimensionals and I don't want to risk melting those, so... I think I'm just going to leave that as it is and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. If I move all my stuff off my rig, I'll be able to move my rig and then give you a full view of what it looks like. And then I'm going to bed, I think. Well, you can see exactly how messy my desk is. Oop. That's half my wig falling down. Actually, I'm going to leave the other one because that's got the lighting on it. So. Sorry, it's a bit shiny, isn't it? Oh, there we go, that's better. I think I would have liked some more... Um, like 3D flowers, that's that's perhaps what I need to work on another time. Because um, I, I feel like it needs maybe a large something there. 
Um, but do we do it? Ask how late it is. Yeah, it's probably about midnight. Oh no, it's not. It's twenty two. Twenty two midnight. Yeah, just look at, like stepping back from it. I'm just thinking, oh, I need something here. Oh, should we fix it now? Because it's the sort of thing that I think when I step away from my desk and tidy up, I'm not going to want to go and. I'm wondering about cutting up, cutting this up and using it. So another big flower. You know what, I would, but, um, oh, I forgot about this little leaf as well. Oh, actually, I'll use that in a second. I would, but I think it would just all look too different. If I'd started doing that from the beginning, I, yeah, definitely. And I have got an idea for something using the flower shop punch to make a new flower that I've never done before. So I'll save that for another day, I think. And it might make it a little bit too 3D. This, at the moment, this would fit into a page protector. That's better. Okay, and then there's this one that's there, but we can tuck it in. It doesn't matter that it's not complete. Possibly, yeah, I'll have a look now. sit them look sit them behind each other good thinking Rosalie I know <laughs> I have I have got my snip somewhere it's just this is what was on my desk And then I can bring that little leaf that I haven't used yet, this one. That can... Okay. Okay, so, go back to grunging. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? Where's my brush? Where's my brush? I had it a minute ago, and then I chucked loads of stuff on the floor because I wanted it off my desk. Oh, oh here it is. Water. I'm hoping I can pick up some of the residue of this ink. Oh no, that's not going to work. Okay, oh, just just sort of. Mm. Tissue, tissue. Oh yeah, that's not tissue. for sticking with me guys that was a good idea Rosalie it does make it look a little bit more um, dimensional doesn't it Feel free to go for a cup of tea and come back in five minutes. <laughs> mm. 
Right, so because I want part of this to be higher up than the other, I'm just going to... Oh, look, four came off in one go. I needed that. I'm going to put two layers of dimensionals on this section here because I've already stuck that down, so that's already higher up. So just remember to do that sometimes, guys, if you are doing quite dimensional work. Some of this paper still a little bit moist. It? Right. Okay. That one there. Do I want that one there or do I want that one there? Or do I want it there to hide that section? Yes. Then I've got to bring in that leaf. So it's there, okay. There's this cute leaf here. Oh, come on. much white around this leaf. Okay, I'm a little bit happier, I think. Okay, I think I'm happier. So you've got that kind of like storyline of the, the roses going along the bottom and then kind of drawing your eye then towards the um, the sentiment down there. So um, now, do I want some pearls on this? Oh, yes. I like the idea of tucking some of these. So they're just peeking through. Oh, I love these stickers. So pretty. So quick and easy as well to decorate. Hi, Jody. Okay, so I think this is dry enough now to start putting some stickers on here. Oh, I better not neglect this corner down here.
Okay. Oh, and then there's the lime green sequins. Oh, these sequins are cute. Oh, no, wrong green. A bit too limey. Yeah, we'll leave those. Wrong kind of green. <laughs> Listen to me. Wrong kind of green. Okay, so I'll just lift that off. Oops. There we go. That's much better, I think, with the that rose there in that bottom left corner. So that's the kind of you can see the textures and the layer layers in there. Right, well that's not too bad. I think I started about ten. <laughs> Just after ten, so two hours. Two hours of fun. Thank you so so much for joining me guys. Let me I don't know if I can can I swap this round. Hello <laughs> It is me, honest. <laughs> Oh, have I got ink? No, no ink on my face. <laughs> it's all good. Right. Lovely. Thank you guys for holding my hand. That's not too bad. Yeah. Well, it's kind of my first go. It's, um, it's very messy. <laughs> but, um, I'll go and sleep on it and then have another look at it. So thanks for joining, Jennifer. Enjoy your starter kit and being a demo. Um, great to see you all. Right, so if you can't be bothered to go back and watch the two hours of replay, um, watch this space. I'll be downloading this video and doing some um, editing and stuff to it so that it makes it much more watchable if you want to kind of be reminded of what I did. So don't forget to share it out amongst your friends if you think you've got friends that might enjoy it. Okay? Right, have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for joining.